Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I haven't been on here a whole lot. Um, various reasons. Uh, I've explained some of my reasons earlier. In previous videos. and uh, Right now I've got uh, some really major things going on in my life. And I wanted to share some of this with you guys. If I'm looking up here, if the camera's right here below the screen, in a way it's just, I can't. I can't talk into that without looking at myself. It's not because I think I'm beautiful or nothing, but it's just I'm trying to get away from that. But anyhow, um, almost three and a half weeks ago, uh, we found out that my wife had cancer. There's, uh, the cancer is... Uh, metastatic cancer which means it's spreading throughout the body started in her breast and it is went through the lymph nodes which I don't understand why lymph nodes are even in the body but it went through the lymph nodes into the lungs and we're having tests done today to see where else this went it's a long road ahead of us and we're scared to death but I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, the test today and tomorrow that we've got to do is I'm just terrified of bad news. We start chemo Thursday, which would be the 21st of March. We're terrified of that because if you read, chemo is basically drinking poison. Don't know what this is going to do to her if she'll survive it. God forbid she doesn't. We're trusting in the Lord. We have faith in the Lord. We believe in His power. We believe in His healing powers. And we have tons of people praying for us. Well, if that is what you can do for us, I would appreciate it. We need all the prayers we can get for this. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. All I know is my main world right now is with my wife. I've lost interest in almost everything that I take joy in. Just to focus on her. Everything you see behind me in this shop, I have no interest in. I've come out here to my shop today, got on my ham radio a little bit, just just to get away from things a little bit. I have a few contacts overseas and things, just to, to take over, you know, to get my head out of it a little bit. But I need prayers. Um... We need prayers. She needs prayers for a miracle. I believe in miracles. I believe uh, this God that we have, our Father in Heaven, performs miracles all the time. From the, from the miracle of the creation of the universe to now, of all the miracles that He does. And I believe in that. Um, so, that's what's going on in my life. Um, I don't mean to bring anybody down. But the one thing that she did not do, and it's just as much my fault as it is hers, is she skipped having her mammograms done once a year for a couple of years. Don't know exactly how long she's had this, but we can't go back now. We can't beat ourselves up about it. But if you have a loved one, the mammograms, you've got to do them every year. Don't skip on your health, especially if you have a family history, which she did. So take care of your body. I'm diabetic type 2. I don't take care of myself like I should, but right now I don't care less about my body, but I know I've got to take care of it enough to take care of her. Um, so take care of yourself. Your body is your temple. Or it's God's temple. Take care of it. Don't skip on anything. Your prost men, prostates, have them checked. Have you know, have your colon checked. Do all these things that could save your life. And I don't know who all you guys are out there. I've got close to a thousand subscribers now. But I thank each and every one of you. I think hope God blesses each and every one of you. And hopefully you guys all know that. 
There is a God, and he will take care of you if you believe in him. I'm not going to apologize for talking about my Lord and Savior because uh, he's the only one. But hopefully we can get through this in the months to come. Uh, she's not, it's not curable. It's only, we can only hold it at bay. I don't know. We're fixing to start chemo, as I said, in Thursday, a few days from now. And I don't know where we're going to go to from there. I hope that she tolerates it well. But I hope, honestly, above all that, I hope with all the people's prayers that we've been getting and receiving, that the Lord will smile on us. I've been praying. She's been praying, too. I'm not going to leave that out. I'm not trying to brag at all. But I believe in the power of prayer. And I just wish that I was a better Christian than I am. But I believe in the good Lord above. And I believe in his healing powers. And I would like to come back one day to the whole world and say, look at this miracle that my God has provided. And I believe that can happen. And I'm reaching out to you guys to tell you that I believe that miracles do happen. And to take care of yourselves. And if you see anything wrong with your body, a bump at where you a knot or a bump or a pain that you won't go away and it hadn't been there before, some kind of splotch in your face or your skin or, or anything like that. Go get it checked. It's just a doctor's visit. 55, your copay, whatever. Go get it checked. I love each and every one of you as brothers. I thank you for being my subscribers. I thank you for your prayers. And I hope one day to come back on here with good news. And maybe one day I can do some more videos. So God bless each and every one of you guys. Uh, have a great day. Take care of yourselves and your spouses. Love each other as brothers and sisters. And if you haven't turned to the Lord, do so now before it's too late. I love each and every one of you. God bless. Take care.